Immunoprecise Antibodies is a contract research organization and antibody development company using systems biology, multiomics modeling, and artificial intelligence. The company just announced a commercial launch of its Lens API software, allowing for the integration of large databases and electronic health records with large language models to enable new research and drug discovery capabilities. CEO Jennifer Batts is here to discuss the new software, its implications, and what is new on the horizon. It's Monday, June the 10th. I'm Martin Gagel with Market Radius Research. Please remember this is neither recommendation nor investment advice. Jennifer, great Hello, to have Martin. you back. <laughs> great to have you back. You've clearly been busy. Please tell us what you've been up to and what today's news is, is all about. Thank you, Martin. It's great to see you again. It's great to be back on Radius Research. Um, and very, very happy to share more information about uh, today's press release. So obviously, we've been up to continuing to build out our Lens AI software. I know we talked about that a, a little while back here uh, and about its uh, unique capabilities of being able to take multiple types of data and bring all of that data for together for researchers to be able to, to use in an analysis, uh, basically by and large to build a, to build new drugs uh, and to be able to use all these different types of information at one time just gives better insight, more insight uh, toward, uh, toward building those drugs. Um, and in the meantime, we've obviously been continuing to build out those capabilities. We've used that software uh, in, uh, in a wonderful uh, partnership uh, which we've announced and uh, just continued to get uh, fantastic results, have built more and more capabilities. But as of late, as you can see from this press release, we've also been building an API, which is essentially uh, a, a, a way of connecting our Lens AI software uh, into other platforms. Uh, and, and the really nice thing about, about the API that, that we have uh, built at Biostrand is that it enables us to circumvent the timelines of building a user interface, which is much more time consuming. So this API has now enabled us to go straight to the market, you know, straight to technology, to healthcare um, or research hospitals and pharmaceutical companies in order to get these capabilities into their hands, which is exactly what we're hearing for several months now as they've been awaiting uh, access to Lens AI. So it's a huge step forward in the commercialization and the timelines for Immunoprecise to be able to um, enable these companies to directly access these capabilities uh, for their drug discovery and research. If I get it right, you, you've developed the Lens AI software, and up until now, you've essentially used it as an internal tool that you would do research for your, your clients. Now you've given through an API that they can access it directly. So you get sort of that software leverage, you, you get the installation, and then you can charge a service fee or that and you don't have to hire your own staff to be running the Lens AI model in that on behalf of your customers. Do I have that right? Absolutely. So we, we've used it in a fee for service model, but we've also used it in a partnership model. Um, where within that partnership, we also use that as an opportunity to just continue to make it bigger and better and to provide additional capabilities to solve the problems of that partner. Um, but that's absolutely right. A, with this, this API and the ability to bring this directly to these companies, it enables them to get hands-on experience to do their own problem solving. And, and that's actually uh, in a in a, through a subscription model, right? Well, they'll they'll actually be paying for basically, you know, units of energy. Um, and they'll also be able to, to not only access our analytical tools, which we've talked about for, for quite some time now, the power of these analytical tools and the things they can do that other analytical tools can't do because of our, our patented technology that drives that. But also this new... API plugin with Lens AI has also incorporated uh, the product from, uh, from a very important partnership uh, for us, which is, is Inner Systems. So we've taken that one step forward in this partnership with Inner Systems, which is a software and data management company who's been a tremendous, a tremendous partner and a, and a great supporter. 
And we've combined their software called Iris with our foundation AI. And that is part of what's allowing us to plug in also now to any type of database and these LLMs so we can fully use our capabilities now in an entirely new realm with these electronic health records. Uh, and that, again, amplifies the power of what we're able to do now bringing these electronic health records, bringing in large language models and bringing in all of the different types of data that we were already able to harmonize for for everyone to, to really understand the full picture of what is happening in the healthcare landscape. And, and that's really the game changer here with this news release. Not only do we have these Lens AI capabilities, but now we can push that into electronic healthcare databases, accessing information on the patients, the genetics of those patients, maybe the, the genetic profiles of, of tumors or whatever it is you might be studying, to you know even doctor's notes, prognosis, how they were treated, what worked, what didn't. So when we look at the, the, the kind of booming space of precision medicine, these are the types of tools and access to information that our pharmaceutical company clients have been asking for routinely. This is the pain point they continue to point to. And so through this Lens AI with the API that Biostrand has built, which was really, really quite a clever way to, to get a go-to market rapidly, along with the capabilities that InterSystem Software Iris brings with the access to these databases and healthcare records, it's providing a very unique tool and very unique access to a vast amount of information that currently cannot be analyzed in any such format like this to these pharmaceutical companies and biotech companies, but yeah, also to technology companies, also to healthcare companies. We have several hospitals right now inquiring about how can they, how can they access this and use also all of their own patient data and then inform their research teams with it. So that is a that is a key way, you know, with the API to be able to integrate directly into these companies. But we are still offering partnerships now with the expanded capabilities through the databases and large language models. So that new partnerships going forward that will be much along the lines of a partnership that we've already announced with Astellas with regard to um, milestones and royalty payments, but we knew, now do have uh, also upfront uh, payments associated with those partnerships. That will also be a route uh, for companies who aren't looking immediately for the direct integration with the API. And InterSystems, they are, um, I, I've never, I had never heard of the company before, but they're a partner, call it an IT service company. They're helping you, A, I presume they have salespeople and, 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 and can help you get leverage off their distribution. But then once someone wants to integrate it, they can be your integration partner. So you don't need to have all sorts of IT professionals running around setting up the databases and setting up the API. So you get the leverage off of their whole network and distribution and expertise. That, that is very true. That's very true, Martin. So that is a major benefit of working with InterSystems. You know, they are a large database company. They do work specifically in electronic health record space as well as data management. They're a very large multi-billion dollar company. They are private, but yes, they're very, you know, specialized in this area. And so that's very true. They have an entire team of core engineers that can assist in the integration um, from a time a company tells us that they would like Lens AI API integrated into their platforms for direct use within their company, um, our collaboration with InterSystems will enable us to do that in about a two to three week timeline, so very rapidly. Um, and then in addition to that, you know, this is also a very interesting benefit for InterSystems as well. They have access to these um, various large language model databases, but just like anyone else, there is a challenge to integrate all of this information in large language models and various databases or healthcare records um, with all the other types of, of information out there. Um, and so uh, that challenge is a challenge for every company, no matter how small they are and no matter how big they are. So what has been 
what has actually been created within Lens AI, and then the addition of, of what we refer to as vector search, which I don't want to get too far into because it's a little bit more complicated, but it's essentially the ability to connect the valuable information from each of these different types of, of modalities or information types, language la la large language models, uh, healthcare, healthcare records and databases, et cetera. This vector search also then enables us to pull out the most meaningful information to glean those insights and tie them together. And like I said, small and large companies are, are, are in need of that type of access. So this is also a benefit teaming up with InterSystems, not only for us, but for InterSystems as well, to be able to connect all of these modalities and then also leverage along with us because these two software programs are now uh, connected through this particular offering to our pharmaceutical clients who are really uh, vocalizing their need for access to this type of uh, platform. And so the API is a, a faster route to market, but you are still developing the whole user interface and platform, which in the news release will take about a year or so, uh, nine to 12 months, it sounds like, to, to get launched. So can you just clarify that? Yeah, absolutely. So we do continue to build out Lens AI. We add additional capabilities almost weekly at this point. We have over 80 what we call microservices. So those are applications we can apply to drug discovery. Uh, I think way more than what people realize. Things all the way from the very beginning of the process of beginning to do a program all the way through not only the discovery and development and characterization and selection of the best antibodies to move forward to the clinic, but even tools for helping people to determine uh, the optimized enro patient enrollment within a clinical trial uh, based on a variety of different factors and, and which drugs might actually have uh, off-target effects and, and uh, potential adverse events. And so we've developed this you know, full, full spectrum of services in here. We continue to do that. Many of those are, are, will be available through the, the Lens AI API. And we'll continue to develop those capabilities within Lens AI. Um, now we are still uh, also working on the user interface for the sake of being able to build that off the shelf software model mm -hmm. that would enable us to do the data management component. Um, so while we're rolling out these capabilities with the analytics and the ability for people to do uh, this, the, the, the research by connecting all of this information, whether it's their information, external databases, et cetera, um, and, and through doing so greatly enhance their research. And yes, that is still a, still a subscription model uh, and, and, and one that we know is in high demand because of the relationships we've already formed. The data management is a separate component of that. That means that we will be organizing and securing and storing the data as well for those clients. So that's the next iteration. That's actually probably 12 to 15 months out from where we are right now. And um, and it would it's really just kind of the next iteration of a software rollout, which is a, a very normal standard process process for a software rollout as you move through the various integrations and improvements upon that software. So that'll be a logical next step also for all of our adopters here uh, for Lens AI API. So now that you've launched it, you're there. The inter um, systems, uh, they are. They've got a conference right now, I guess, on the East Coast, mm -hmm. and they um, you're launching that to their client base, I guess, and then hopefully you'll be presumably getting signing on clients and doing trials and then rolling out full commercial. Uh, launches. Are you going to be able to announce sort of contract wins or just give kind of quarterly updates as uh, uh, various organizations sign mm -hmm. up for the, the the software? Yeah, that's a, that's a great question. So um, so going back to the first part, that's exactly right. We're at InterSystems Global Summit today. We're going to be pre showing a demonstration of our capabilities uh, with over uh, 1,300 uh, attendees globally from around the world, all technology experts, C-suite, programmers, et cetera. Um, but uh, but th that's ex exactly right. These, these groups are all groups that are likely to have interest in these types of technologies for sure. But we're also, as I mentioned, getting this inbound interest from hospitals and technology groups and pharmaceutical companies. And whether we announce when something is signed or whether we announce in a quarterly earnings call or when there's uh, you know, some sort of result typically is entirely dependent on the partner. 
And so uh, that's the type of information that gets all written into the initial agreement. Um, and and we have a, a range of uh, companies with contracts already that uh, uh, have a, a, a wide range of you know uh, opportunities in there from nope we won't be able to talk about anything to as long as we approve it we're going to let you go ahead and talk about this uh, so we're expecting a range along those lines and and probably important to point out too that as, as I mentioned you know we're already in conversations some of them fairly early stage some of them a little bit more advanced about the exact needs of these companies and at what point they want the API versus working on, on a straight partnership um Again, with a, a myriad of a diff different types of companies, as we as we have gone out over the last uh, month or so, uh, since since uh, adopting these these uh, further capabilities and begin to share with people the ability for them to come on with early access and what that looks like for them and and uh, how exactly they would like to take this route between a partnership and an, and an API integration. Um, so yes, I would definitely anticipate that at least some of these will be announced. Others we might need to keep quiet for a time until we have a material event that necessitates that announcement, but whenever possible, we will. Um, and then also probably important to point out that at the InterSystems Conference today, we will be doing a live demonstration. So we will walk people through exactly how this technology can be used. Um, and we will be doing multiple media events. We have several interviews lined up. We will be performing a podcast. We'll be getting uh, recordings and pushing things public as, as much as possible through these events. So definitely stay tuned. And then I think another important part of this too is that over a thousand groups have also been invited um, for uh, in, the, in, a, in a category uh, referencing uh, innovation, uh, really looking uh, from inner systems perspective to find a group that can solve this big challenge of data integration. You know, so I've mentioned it's a problem for everyone, and it's a problem across industry sectors. We've talked about this for quite some time now, the information integration dilemma and how challenging that is and how it's really a hindrance to people doing better and better drug discovery, no matter how powerful their algorithms might be, no matter how much data they have. So there is literally also an innovation competition there where people have been invited to present their solutions, show them to everyone there at the Inner Systems Global Summit um, so that they can show their solution for integration data, data, integrating data and for innovation and for really moving that healthcare space forward. So we're also participating in that. Um, and so in addition to presenting uh, and providing demonstrations, we will be uh, in the mix with about a thousand other companies really showing people exactly what we're able to do uh, and how powerful we believe that uh, Lens AI uh, with vector search capabilities truly is. You've been busy. Thank you very much for taking the time to, to uh, uh, share the news and explain it to us. There is obviously a lot going on. Uh, yeah. We look forward to having you back as uh, more news unrolls. And uh, thank you very much. Thank you so much, Martin. Great to see you.